Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video about Back for Blood, the Left 4 Dead spiritual successor from Turtle Rock, the dudes who made the original Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. So, what are my thoughts on it after playing the alpha? Um, yeah, we're back, baby. It is basically Left 4 Dead, except everything you would want out of a sequel. You got multiple characters that you can pick from. Uh, they've already stated that they're going to do eight in total. You got the special infected, including some crazy, like, gargantuan monster things that come out of the ground. Um, of course, you got the zombies. You got way more weapons. And I think the coolest feature so far that they've added is the deck building, um, as well as the upgrade paths that you can do. So normally in Left 4 Dead, you basically start up the game and you make a choice between having a shotgun or assault rifle at the beginning. Everyone gets pistols and that's pretty much it. Now in this one, depending on which character you pick, that is going to determine what kind of loadout you have. Additionally, you can customize decks and you use these decks to create kind of your own unique build. Um, it ranges everything from just increasing melee damage to uh, giving the party health when someone goes down to giving the party health when someone gets revived, um, reloading faster. I mean, there's, there's just, there's a lot of different cards to pick and choose from and I can see how all of them can play into some pretty cool builds. So, yes, Back for Blood is Left for Dead in all but name. However, it's actually a lot more than that. It's it's surprisingly You know, Left for Dead was one of my favorite games. Left for Dead 2, the follow-up was fantastic, and Back for Blood is essentially carrying on that tradition of one-upping its predecessor to create something that is truly just fun. It's just fun. Uh, I don't really know how else to say it. The difficulty is higher, even on the classic setting, which is the lowest difficulty setting available right now in the alpha. It felt challenging. It was no pushover and you could easily die without teamwork. And yeah, there are some trolls within the game uh, that I've encountered so far. Additionally, if you get a team that doesn't really cooperate, then you're gonna have problems. But that's just like the first one that, and the second one. That's just like Left 4 Dead. The, the little things that they've done to make the game essentially better than Left 4 Dead. You have aim down sights. That wasn't available. And depending on the weapon, that drastically changes how that weapon behaves. You have the upgrade to the weapons. You can add, you know, scopes to it. You can add a laser sight, extended magazines. Um, all of these things can be done as you collect copper throughout the game, essentially the game currency. Additionally, when you first boot up into a safe room, unlike in Left, Left 4 Dead where you essentially just, you know, go to your ammo cache, load up on your ammo, pick out the gun you want, get a med pack and call it a day, this one has you essentially spend your copper that you've been earning over the previous rounds to maintain your effectiveness. That could be adding an upgrade, it could be buying a health pack, it could be um, you know, buying pills or changing out your weapon. They've even got some cards in there that you can bad, uh, add to your deck so you get a little bit stronger. Those are all the little details that make it honestly feel a little bit more like survival horror rather than just the crazy action set pieces that Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 were. Additionally, with uh, the cards, in between rounds, uh, your character will draw three cards from either the deck you customized or the default deck, and you pick one to add to your current loadout. And that adds a little bit of randomness to how your build goes. And yes, there are builds. This isn't just, you know, you pick Zoe and, and call it a day. It's you pick this character and you kind of make them your own. You want to go melee, go melee. You want to go support, go support. You want to be able to suss out all the different uh, attachments that are available throughout the map or guns that are available. 
your character can have it where they kind of highlight them before anyone else. You'll see them sooner. So it's it's honestly very impressive, especially for an alpha, to see all these different pieces coming together. And it only really makes me excited for when the game actually comes out in July. If you're a fan for Left 4 Dead, I see absolutely no reason you shouldn't be hyped for this game. I mean, unless Turtle Rock just completely shits the bed at the last minute, this is already looking amazing. It's already super fun and it can only get better with more polish, better matchmaking. All these different things will come together. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's fantastic. Um, if they do another run, like a beta run or something, I highly recommend getting involved if you can. And oh, one more thing. Um, my PC is extremely old. It's going on nine, over nine years old with parts that are over 10 years old. And this thing runs it. It runs it. Not only does it run it, it runs it extremely smooth. 1440p over 60 frames a second. And, um, you know, at high settings. That's extremely impressive considering how old my system is. I don't know what kind of wizardry Turtle Rock is doing, but it's totally the right call. It's awesome. It allows more people to play the game. And while my footage is not going to show how smooth it ran because I just recorded it off of Twitch, um, it is pretty phenomenal what they've done even thus far in the alpha so yeah check it out if they do another round um and if not get ready for the summer you're gonna love it if you are a fan of left for dead you're gonna love this if you love co-op shooters you're gonna love this it, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great yeah that's it all right have yourself a good one <laughs>